So, Eddie, they brought you here to be... Well, they've brought us here to make us fight. Okay. And I, I, I'm not going to put up with that. I think we should rebel because I'm one of Battery's biggest fans. <laughs> and rather than, you know, fighting each other, we should be working together to make a bright Battery future for Australia. So you backed out already. That's awesome. Okay. Oh, if you're going to be like that, let's just fight. <laughs> okay. Okay, so number one, are home batteries worth the investment? Okay, so is buying a new car a good investment? If you ask me to crunch the numbers, I'll probably say no. If you want to buy a new car anyway, don't ask me to crunch the numbers. Simple, full stop. Well, fair enough. Well, I can tell you right now that we've got thousands of batteries in the field, over 500 Teslas actually, and they're an absolutely amazing investment. And one of the things is that when you put on lots of solar, uh, your return on investment is pretty good, but you use as much power as you like. But when you put on a battery, you actually really care for you with your solar because you want your battery to last longer. So that battery actually improves the ROI of your solar as well. So yep, great investment. Uh, I crunched some numbers and I found that uh, if you want to buy a battery, that's fine. If you put a high value on uh, the backup power, that's fine. If you have a huge electricity consumption and the South Australian, it's now $2,000 rebate, maybe you can save money by getting a battery. If you think the battery, if you've got a lot of faith in how long the battery will last, yeah, maybe it can pay for itself. But I have a problem with some people, not you, who tell yeah. little old grannies on pension that they can save money by installing a battery when it's not, well, the if, if it's a good battery, it'll last longer than they do. Problem with you number crunchers, Ronald, is that, mm. that what you do is you consider what's the solar doing, what's the battery doing, I'll compare them separately, and then you have this big problem with, oh, I don't like blended ROIs. The reality is once you install a battery, you will use your solar better than you have before. You will use actually less power because you want your battery to survive the whole night. And when you do blend them together, they get a better return on investment than the numbers that you're crunching separately. Question two, have we reached a tipping point for battery use in Australia? Oh, well, 100% we've already reached a tipping point, mate, because what I can say to you now is that about 90% of the time that we have a conversation with a customer about solar, they want to ask questions about batteries. And the whole thing, tipping points start with conversations. About one third of the solar systems that we're installing have a battery attached. And if you compare that to numbers in 2019, that is the tipping point that we've reached already. Oh, okay. That, that's very good. The more batteries that are out there, the less I have to pay for electricity. So that's good, but I would not get one myself at this time. Be well, because it, it wouldn't pay for itself for me and with my set of values. I do have a home battery, but it's, you know, this big and that suits my needs. Yeah. Well, I guess there's also the environmental impact as well. You're mm -hmm. probably um, the sort of person that's quite happy to take coal power at night and um, not worry too much about the future generations perhaps, but there are a lot of people that actually look at that aspect as well and over 70% of Australians currently think about the environment when making a major purchase. So um, perhaps um, you're in that 30% that don't and when you are, that will be a tipping point for you. Well, it is true that I live in a hermetically sealed bubble and I'm <laughs> planning to seal that lock and uh, keep all the people and my family members out and leave them to die in the environmental catastrophe that'll happen if we don't stop burning coal and other fossil fuels. But that said, uh, I can get a greater environmental return at the moment for installing solar. Um, eventually that'll change. Okay. Batteries are reducing in price, but not by as much as people thought they would. What do you think will happen to battery prices? Well, what do you think will happen? I, think... I know what you think will happen, because I read your blog from 2017 about your blended payback when you said, ah, battery prices, Teslas are eleven dollars to $13,000, and when they drop in price will be a major business for batteries. Well, since then, actually, a Tesla now around Australia is about $15,000. That's gone up. So um, all the people that you talked out of buying a Tesla in 2017, and instead they spent that money on cars and holidays, parties and alcohol. I'm a communist, and as a communist, I believe in freedom of choice for all consumers. So if people 
want to buy a battery and they ask me what I think, I'll tell them what I think, you know? Oh, wait, or is that a capitalist? I get them so confused. <laughs> Batteries reducing in price, but not by as much as people thought they would. What do you think will happen to battery prices? Well, um, yeah, battery cells have gone down in price, but home batteries have not seen the decrease I was expecting and hoping to see. So it appears that it's really difficult to make a good home battery. So some have pulled it off, Tesla. I thought uh, LG Chem was going well, but they, even they have had large problems. So yes, it's obviously not easy. And if you go with a small battery brand nobody's heard of before, yeah, you may be taking a big risk there. Yeah. So um, it looks like the delay in price falls is to build up the quality. And uh, yes, but now, from now on, I'm sure they will fall in price. Oh, here we go. I, yeah. think, I think the thing is, from my, my answer to that is, in 2010, we were saying batteries will um, halve in price and they'll double in capacity. Mm -hmm. And you're still saying it now, mm. but what you didn't realise that in 2019, they did halve in price and they did double in capacity and that came true. So let that go. It's not going to halve again and it's not going to double again. Right. Uh, I must have missed 2019. I, I, I black out sometimes. Fair enough. Well, it can happen. Right. Are VPPs a good way to get a battery? Uh, yeah, well, look, I, honestly, I think that um, they, they, they have their place. Mm -hmm. um, for the person who's not a control freak, mm. I think um, they would enjoy the discounts that you get from entering into a VPP. Mm. For someone who actually is a control freak, they want to run their whole home, they won't love the tampering with their mm. battery, I don't think. Um, so, yeah, that's sort of how I see it. It has its place, for sure. Mm. Right. Uh, are VPPs a good way to get a battery? They certainly can be better than not having one under the right circumstances. So if you can find a VPP that works for you and you like the benefits, then get one. Uh, it's normally not difficult to get out of them. Usually, depends on the VPP, be mm -hmm. careful. But uh, I am shocked and disgusted at the rip-offs occurring with VPPs. Uh, they're getting a huge, some VPPs offer very little benefits and they get a huge amount of benefit and money for themselves out of the use of your battery. They may even run your battery into the ground and very carefully just avoid uh, going over the warranty period uh, that they, yeah. And very carefully avoid degrading the battery beyond what its warranty allows. Yeah, look, that could be true. I think if you're entering into a VPP, I think as always, pick a really good installer, pick a good VPP, pick a good battery, do your research and I think you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. So, final question. Mm. What would need to happen to electricity prices to make batteries more attractive? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Batteries are so attractive right now. Mm -hmm. like, what else is needs to happen? But obviously what's going to happen is the gap between the highest tariff and the lowest tariff will widen as more solar goes onto the network. And every time that widens that little bit more, it makes that battery purchase a little bit more attractive. So you're talking about the highest and lowest, the peak and off and off peak rate on a time of use tariff? Yeah, either on time of use or entering into an electricity plan with a company, you know, like Amber Electric as an ah, example yes. that trades that. They've got very big gaps between their highest tariff and their lowest. When that happens, a smart battery makes a, the investment, you know, even better than what it is now. What do I think needs to happen to electricity prices to make batteries worthwhile? Well, nothing needs to happen to the total amount of electricity, that the total amount we pay for electricity. What needs to happen is we need to uh, change the way we pay for electricity. So at the moment we pay a big chunk of our electricity bills in supply charges every day. Mm -hmm. If that amount was reduced, which would benefit people on low incomes, pensioners and so on, then, and we paid more per unit of electricity, yeah, then batteries would pay for themselves now. It would be, it's just a matter of how we pay. So, this is a hard sell to people running our electricity sector, but if they want the high battery take up, which will take pressure off the grid and help meet peak demand, that is within their control and they can make the rule change like that. Wow, you live in an idealistic world sometimes, Ronald. But um, yeah, let's dream. Let's dream uh, Ronald's dream. 
and uh, that that might work out for us. Mm-hmm. Any final words, Eddie? Stop procrastinating. Go and buy yourself a battery. You'll absolutely love it. Mm-hmm. Um, if you want a battery, buy one from Eddie. If you don't want a battery, don't buy one. If you're on a budget, crunch your numbers. Be careful. That's all I got to say. So, thank you, Eddie, for coming in. Appreciate it. So, um, we can hug or kiss or maybe, because of COVID, I'm going to make an exception and just give you a fist bump. Yeah, that sounds good. Boom. All right. Oh, <laughs> My pleasure. It's been mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. Ciao.